Hi, this is Chris and Catherine from Lightwood Games, and we have a new game to show you. This is Word Sweeper by Paugi. It's part of the Word Logic by Paugi collection, which is coming out for Wii U and 3DS next month. That's August, and it's also out on mobile and on the Mac App Store today, so you can get it on your iPhone or Android or on your Mac desktop. And it's a brand new puzzle. It's a crossword puzzle solved using logic, but no one's ever seen this game before, so we thought we'd better show you how to play it, how to solve these puzzles. So I'm going to hand over to Catherine and let her show you uh, how she'd tackle one of these puzzles. Okay. Uh, right. So, each of the black squares contains uh, some small letters which show you which letters are in the adjacent, adjacent white squares. So if we look uh, down at this square, uh, it has two letter T's in it, which means the two adjacent squares, this one and this one, both have to be the letter T. So that makes a nice easy place to start. There we go. Then in this square, you can see the black square um, to the left and below contains only a letter E now because the T has been marked off because we've used it. So that has to be the E. And then above, by the same logic, that has to be a V. So it spells vet. Obviously, this is making a crossword, so you will end up with proper English words in there, which often helps solve the puzzle. Then if we look at the top, going along from the E, um, the square above this one says an N and an S has to be this square and this square. This one can't contain the N because the square above and to the right does not contain a letter N as a clue. So this has to be the S and then that one has to be the N. And then this one has to be the U because it's the only one left in the square above and to the left. And that one has to be the R. And we can spell ensure. So that has to be the E. Is, is there a way of working that out without guessing what the word is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the um, uh, square above has the letters D and E in it. Uh, and this one can't be the D because the D is not in the lower square. So that has to be the E. That has to be the D. Okay, but sometimes you can use your knowledge of vocabulary to complete words as well as using logic to get a starting point, correct? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, same, same would apply here because uh, the square below says we've got an I and a W. Uh, we could work it out by logic uh, because the... Uh, w can't go in this square because that only has an I and an N next to it. But we also know it has to be the W there because D I is not a word. D W is U and is a word. Um, here, the square above and to the right says we've only got an I left, uh, and then an N, and then a K by the same reasoning. Um, here, we've got an R and an N left for these two squares. Um, according to these, UNR, not a word, URN is a word. Uh, <laughs> but also, this square, uh, the square below, says an IGN are the only ones left, so that can't be the R, it has to be the N. So we've got urn going down there. Uh, this square, we've only got an H left above, and then an A. Uh, right now, down here, we've got an I and a G for this square. If we look to the square to the left, that can't be a G because of the square to the left and below. So that has to be the I, which makes that one the G. So in this case, you have to use logic. Because if I jumped in and go, go, oh, it ends in ing, it would actually have been <laughs> wrong because that, that would look like it would have fitted until you'd uh, eliminated the G from that square. Yes. Uh, S and S, and then we've got an A left for that one, and an N left for that one, and we've solved the puzzle. Hooray! <laughs> Yes. Excellent. Do you want to see some more? Or? Yeah, start with um, a slightly harder one and, and sit, just show how you find a starting point. Because often they, they start to cascade in difficulty once, um, once you've got a starting point. So ah, scroll, up, scroll up a couple of pages. Hmm. There's 120 puzzles in this and the, the, the difficulty progresses. Um, the, the harder puzzles have less, have fewer places to start. Well, this one's got a really easy place to start. Has it? Two of them. Well, when there's a, a long line in a row, the, the, the generally easy starts. On, oh, yes. There is only <laughs> one square next to that L. It has to be an L. <laughs> I did scroll forward, did, but um. I'm sure you'll hit hurdles later on. Um, and we've got the same over here. We've got only an L there, which gives us the I, and then the F, and then the T. Right now, what happens next? I wonder. 
You're asking me to do this all unprepared. Oh, yeah, I've seen this one before. <laughs> I don't know you have, but didn't prepare it for this video. So on the fly, what do you do? Um, well, by English language, I'll, I'll, I'll upset you by doing it that way. <laughs> TW, you can't start a word WT, nope. so that has to be TW. Um, with the choice of L, O, and S as the end of that, it has vowel. to be the O. <laughs> <laughs> um, so even when you're not using logic based on the letter placement, you're still using deduction based on your knowledge of English? Yes, yes I am. So I'm looking at the, the top right corner. Yes. Uh, you've got an I and an R. Yes, I do. It could end in RI, I suppose. More likely to end in IR, RIR, AIR. Yes, I agree. And uh, next to be A of four. Yes. Has to be an A or an R, and it's very unlikely to be two A's. Unless it spells aardvark, which there's not space there's for. There's no space for, it's just an aard. Oh, and since we're um, doing this by words rather than by logic, we also have a check feature, which is available on all different versions, um, where it will check to see whether you've got it correct so far ah, or put, not. Put some nonsense in then and see what happens. If I put some nonsense in, um, so if I put an E there instead, it says, there are some errors, would you like me to fix them? And you can choose at this point whether you let the game fix them or whether you cancel back because you know what mistake you just made. Yeah, so if you're really stuck, you can get a hint by uh, having a guess and seeing if it's right. But it does count how many times you do that. So if you want to, to finish <laughs> the game perfectly, like if you want to 100% it, then you, know, you need to do it all by yourself. Yes. There you go, I've got some logic rather than just words. Okay. Since we, we seem to have resorted to words. <laughs> okay, so this has to be an A or a B, according to the squares above, but the square below and to the right does not contain a letter A, so that has to be the B. Yep. Yep. So that says label. Um, now this is all a bit, um, could be either of them. Oh, I can see it says also. Yes, it's not as low. It's not as low, it has to be also. Um, which makes that self. Or slef. It's not slef. Slef's not a word. The puzzles have been carefully checked, so those letters can't be reversed to give two possible solutions. There's only one way to solve each one of them. Yes. So don't worry about that. There is only one correct solution. And you can use whatever combination of logic and vocabulary you like to get there. Yes. So that's Word Sweeper. It is out today on iPhone and Android, and it's available on the Mac App Store. If you go to powgi.com, P-O-W-G-I.com, uh, that will uh, link you to all the right places. It's coming to Wii U in 3DS as part of Word Logic by Powgi. That's out in August. And if you want to play it on paper, or you can also do that on the Powgi website, there's a daily puzzle section. You'll find some of them on there that you can print and uh, try solving with a pencil. Yes. So let us know what you think of Word Sweeper.